I'm playing with my Velcro. Ed is not as worried about his boat as others. Uh, what we're running today is a Pro Boat Impulse 31 that's been slightly modified. Next up, we've got a Wildcat, which as far as I know is bone stock, right, Ryan? Bone stock Wildcat. And then we've got the mystery machine here that we're not really sure what it is. And uh, we got the Mini Mono. It's got sharpened uh, turn fins and some other slight modifications on it that we did last weekend. And uh, Ed's got the Miss Geico. He likes it because it's yellow and it looks like a school bus. Uh, we're out in Petersfield, Manitoba on Netley Creek and we're going to rip some RC boats. <laughs> What, is it dead? Yeah. Nick, I think you want to videotape this boat because all has a habit of making it only last a couple minutes. Wow, that is fast. So now you see why Al is not wearing a microphone. Jump in. Al's our recovery vehicle. All right, let's do that again. Silent Ed uh, is just a stock guy. It's brushless with two two-cell lipos. Um, Bone stock boat. I think he's got a, a metal prop on it. We haven't even sharpened or balanced it yet, which is not recommended. But when you're out in the boat and something happens, you want to run, so we got to throw it on. And uh, I'm going to race him with my stock Wildcat. There's two different leagues of boats, but mine's brushless, so running a three cell. And uh, we're going to have some fun because that's what it's all about. And uh, yeah, we hit. That happens. It's part of the fun. I want to make sure it's both. Rescue Al is going out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a broken hatch and I'm going to tape it up for the rest of today. And uh, Ed's fiberglass hull had no match to an ABS hull. So when you're buying a boat, you should uh, make sure it's got everything you need. ABS is nice, it's light and it's cheap, but uh, if you got a fiberglass hull, it's a lot stronger and it can be fixed a lot easier. So Ed wins, last one on the water. We fixed the boat. How do we launch a broken boat? Like this. This is Mike, Ryan's dad, and he says, you call those boats? He said, go big or go home, boys. So we're going to take it for a ride and see what he's talking about. It says seasons about full scale to small scale. We're showing you what the full scale is like. You get to go for a ride in it. See the nitrous tank up front? Yeah, it's a little scary, but I'll get in. I guess that about wraps up our boating experience. We lost one GoPro with a full of footage. We broke a hatch of my boat. Ed hit Al in the back of the head when he was diving. And uh, we made a fixed Al, so it might be a good thing. And Al lost a prop shaft and uh, he's swimming out to get his boat right now. So uh, you guys stay tuned for more RCTV. Uh, we're gonna go pick up Al over there. Well, we broke the prop shaft, but we're lucky because the prop stayed attached. So that's okay.